Hello, Gemini. This is Deja Vu Tarot, and happy Easter to you all. Once again, this is not sexual tarot today. I am not in the sexual tarot mood, so when I get back in my mood, you will get your video. I promise you, and I right now, this is just going to be a regular reading for you guys. The energy, I was trying to tap into the sexual tarot read, and spirit just ain't letting me tap into that. I don't feel that whole sexual experience, <laughs> right? But I will have y'all video coming. Right now, this is just going to be a regular video for the month of April. And you're getting two, so that's great, Gemini. So you'll have your sexual tarot coming in soon. I feel like this is basically going to be a reading to talk about uh, these people that's using all this witchcraft and, and voodoo. And I just heard somebody say, well, I'm a, I, I'm a witch. I know it. Da, 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 da. And I, it just kind of bothered me a little bit because I felt like, okay, yes, people use witchcraft, voodoo, all that good stuff, one, one, one on the clock. And what spirit, I feel like spirit is trying to say and what's putting on my heart right now is like, um, you guys, it that voodoo and stuff is not what we supposed to really be working on, okay? Now, people do use that. And they think what happens is it messes with your mental because you think that you are God when you start messing and dibbling, dabbling, dibbling, dabbling now. And what God is wanting to chart is teaching us and trying to tell us is that we gotta stop doing that stuff, man. Okay, because it's low dimensional magic. You really actually dealing with low dark energies. That's not really good to be dealing with low dark energies. Voodoo, black magic, witchcraft is low dimensional work. It's for the devil. And God is up, okay? God works on a higher dimension, guys. And when you're working with that stuff, you need to be at a higher level of dimensional vibration in order to not have that stuff come back and affect you. And what's going on in the world today, they over here dibbling and dabbling in this voodoo stuff they think they all that because i heard a go well i send them to your house so they feel like if they get mad at somebody or somebody threaten them or say something crazy to them they're gonna go send voodoo demons at your house now here's the thing with that most of the people who sending that stuff to people's house y'all gotta understand that it's a higher level dimension than witches, okay? You got people that's ascended masters around here. You got people that's in higher spiritual realm than you. So why you think you doing all that and you think you all that because you want to send some demons to somebody's house, you better make sure when you send in stuff like that that they ain't higher ranking than you. Because what's going to happen is it's going to backfire, okay? And I think it's a lot of witches and fake readers and pastors and preachers is out here using this stuff is starting to realize that this shit is going back <laughs> okay and they trying to understand how and why first of all presence of the lord is here he's tired of them uh doing all this stuff so it's going back anyway because god is trying to tell y'all something what god is trying to tell us because we did this shit in the last past life Working with all these voodoos and hexes and curses. We're cursing our bloodlines. We're cursing our ancestral uh, bloodlines. And we need to stop doing this shit. Because it's ruining our history. Our ancestral history. Our bloodline. Our children's children's bloodline. And we're dibbling and dabbling. And a lot of people don't understand it. Some people think they know it all. And, and they thinking they better than. And they going and doing shit. And they misusing it in the wrong way. If you're going to use it. Use it to enhance people's lives. Not the other way around. Because it's going to backfire on you. And so what's going on these days. Is that a lot of these people out here. Using all this voodoo. Using all this black magic. Using all this stuff. They want to keep throwing it at all the real chosen ones. That's real naturally talented we ain't gotta do all that <laughs> okay and so they're getting jealous at us because they realize oh shit they don't gotta go uh put blood in this and put herbs in here and go seance this and go do this no we don't have to do that we are natural beings because god has blessed us to be that way because of our bloodline and what we do 
And yes, we can dibble in that if we want to, but we don't need to because we're royal. We're higher ranking in dimensional and spirit and royalty. So there's no need for us to go dibble and dabble in voodoo, dibble and dabble in witchcraft, dibble and dabble in black magic, dibble and dabble in sassaria, dibble and dabble with the We don't have to do that. And see, these witches and warlocks and preachers and fake ass everybody that's over here thinking they the shit is jealous. Okay, and it's backfiring. It's a lot of things backfiring. And what God is trying to tell us is that you guys need to stop this stuff, man. You got to stop dibbling and dabbling. If you're going to do it, do it for the good, not dibble dabble to throw and send demons to people. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're breaking the rules. Five, five, five on the clock. You need to make a change up to doing that stuff that stuff is doing nothing but backfiring on you it's doing nothing but causing your kids your family your bloodline to be cursed and hexed and damaged okay and that's why you keep repeating these lives you did it in a past life you got with a big coat and did the whole voodoo black magic all this and curse yourself you had to come back this life and learn and you're still not learning guys that is the whole point of us repeating our lives because we're not learning. And God getting tired, okay? I'm tired, so I know he getting tired. Now, I don't, don't want to speak for God, but yeah, I feel like getting tired of it. And because, you know, it doesn't make sense, guys. You're supposed to be here to clear out ancestral curses and hexes and things that we done built over these past lives, thought we was doing something, sending curses and hexes and everything back towards each other and fighting and all this. We're supposed to be clearing this stuff out, not making more and more karma for ourselves. Okay? So that's what it just was on my heart. And I just wanted to, you know, if you're going to use voodoo, use voodoo to clear out your curses. Stop throwing it on somebody else. Because all it's doing is ricocheting and you going to be cursed. Now you walking around with a whole curse on your back. It don't make no sense, guys. You got to get yourself together. You got to understand that these are cycles that you're going through and you got to break the cycle. Else you're going to keep repeating yourself. Okay, we didn't get these gifts just today. We've been had these gifts. That's why we're back, because we keep doing the same shit. We ain't learning from the last past life that you, you kept hexing yourself. And then here you got, you got people on this earth that's trying to clear out our ancestral patterns and, and clear out things. And then you got people over here still throwing stuff. You guys need to get it together, seriously. And if you're the best witch in the world, if you're the best sorcery in the world, act like it. Because throwing it on people is not acting like you the best. That's very immature. Because I'm going to tell you like this. You throw it on me every time, you getting it back on you. And you might get it worse. And I ain't playing with none of y'all witches and none of y'all warlocks because I am a high ranking. And I'm telling you right now, don't throw it over here because you're going to get it right back. And you're going to get it worse. Don't even make no sense. Anyway, let's get back to the reading because that was just on my heart. You know, these people is, is just, they doing too much. And I know God see what they doing. God is the one over everything, guys. Y'all little voodoo, you one, two-dimensional voodoo, that ain't nothing. God is way higher dimensional than that. If you're going to have a gift and you want to learn something, learn something for the good. Try to focus on manifesting and, and raising your vibration and being with the most high. That's how you're going to get blessings. Not over here fooling with the devil. Don't make no sense. Yeah, raise your vibration up. The sun card, Gemini. So I may be talking to a person that got a sun sign in Gemini. Well, Gemini, you, you got revealed some too. You didn't have some revelation here. Hopefully you ain't over there throwing that magic. And if you is, get yourself together. 
Neptune, yeah, psychic experience. And that's what I'm saying. They throw it out because they think they the best witch in the world. And then they hit it on a person that's way high ranking than them. A person that got natural gifts that don't got to even do all that. And they bounce back on their dome. And then they over there looking crazy. And then they dome looking like this. And they trying to figure out why. Stop throwing that shit. You don't know what people's lives is. You don't know what rankings people are in the spiritual realm. Get out of people across your record. Stop uh, watching people tarot and, and everything. You don't know what you're doing. Focus on your life. If you want to practice voodoo, fine. Do it for you, though. Don't be doing it so you can be a, throwing it on people that ain't even knowing what's going on. You don't think God see you? And if you don't believe in God, I, God help you. Because I'm going to tell you right now, God see all. And when God come through, <laughs> you're going to be hoping, you, you're going to be wishing that he give you a chance. And God loves us enough that he will. I'm not saying he'll punish you 11, 11 on the clock, but all I'm saying is I don't know what God do because I don't like speaking on that. All I'm just saying is it ain't right. I've been a victim of this stuff, and I'm telling you, I, I, when I got in YouTube, I didn't know these people was out here doing this type of stuff. I didn't know nothing about no voodoo or black magic. Thank you, Carmita Carmichaels, for putting me on uh, to it. I just know I had natural gifts, and I was trying to bless the world so they can get their gifts unlocked. And these people over here trying to attack me, and I'm trying to figure out why everybody attacking me. And they attacking me because I ain't even, they thinking I'm doing black magic. Just, uh, you see how crazy and loco people are? I ain't got to do black magic, huh? God bless me on his own. I believed. It says, be not afraid. And it's Easter, so let's keep going. Be not afraid, only believe. Yeah, Mark 5, 36, I believed. That's what I did. And God blessed me because I believed in God. And I believed that if all I had to do was trust God and, and get myself together, he would bless me. And God blessed me. And, I yeah, I had gifts. I unlocked something in myself. I didn't know it. But I came on here to bless other people the right way. And people still don't believe me. They think I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff. I don't care what you think. You keep throwing it my way, it's going to go right back on your dome every single time. He that believe, again, another believe, he that believe it on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, absolutely, John fourteen twelve. There's real live earth angels out here, guys. 13, 13 on the clock. You got people out here, when they find out you're Earth Angel, when they find out you you a star seed, when they find out you from not even from here, here they go. They want your juice. They want your energy. They throwing this and throwing that. What the heck is wrong with y'all? Y'all done lost all y'all mind. Literally. You lost your mind. Purify your energy. Get out of that demonic stuff. Quit thinking you rule something because you got a little voodoo. You done learned some little voodoo stuff. And read the Bible. Do it the right way. That's what's wrong with society today. Everybody don't want to take their time and, and get, the, get the stuff the right way. Everybody want to rush and do things. So when you're rushing and doing things, you're not thinking. You're not taking the time. To slow down and think about what you're doing. And you're rushing because you want some money. It's all what it's about. Power and all this stuff. The government too. I'm talking to you too, government. And that's why you're in your situations where you're in. Because all that stuff is backfiring. Because I'm throwing it back too. Celebrities, you're getting it too. Hollywood getting it too. All the black magic in the world, I done threw it all back. 1444 because you guys need to understand that that stuff is not the way to go 
go by the book. You gonna start seeing it. Y'all watch me. Watch. You gonna start seeing it. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Matthew six thirty four. Chosen ones is getting tired of you guys. You know why? Because you guys don't understand that we are genuinely here. We are sent here by God to help the world. And that's what we're doing. And as long as y'all devil little helpers keep trying to block us, keep trying to throw magic on us, keep trying to stop us, God is going to get y'all. Our ancestors is going to get y'all. Everybody who works for us <laughs> or has our back, I should say not really work for us but everybody who has our back is going to get you guys one day one way or another 1555 as i said that so be looking out for that spirits say believe and stop worrying about tomorrow gemini you stop worrying about tomorrow for tomorrow should take thoughts of itself neptune on the board so you are in your head gemini your air sign and that's what you do you think, 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 16, 16 on the clock, and Spirit is saying, stop worrying. You just have to believe it, okay? You pray it to God, and you leave it there. All right? Because success will come. You guys are worrying about your, if you're going to be successful, you will. One thing I'm learning, you know, I, I, I have a hard time, too, letting stuff go. Okay? But spirit is saying, when you when you say it in the universe, you got to let it go. You're going to have success, okay? Don't worry about it, okay? Keep your vibrations high. State your manifestations, and you're going to have success, okay? Now, as also low vibrationals, because y'all want to do animal magic, blood work, all that stuff, playing with animals... Y'all think y'all getting some type of success? And Spirit is saying, you ain't finna get no success. Ain't, ain't no manifestations for that. And you ain't gonna get no peace. So be looking out for that because it is backfiring on your skull. And you're gonna be in major conflict. Be looking out for that. Because you're not getting clarity. You guys don't believe. That's what you think people are around here lying. And this is what I can't understand. People always say, oh, she lying. No, I don't believe her. But you study watching. So if you don't believe, what you watching for? Karmics, Carmita Carmichaels, what y'all watching for? You watch everybody channel on YouTube, all, all the readers, everybody. But everybody lying. Everybody can't all be lying, especially if we all saying pretty much the same thing around here. We reading energy, so it's what's come out. So if you think we lying, why y'all still watching us then? 1818. Hmm? Because you're watching to see if, if your little voodoo gonna work. Obviously, I'm back. I've been saying I'm back for the longest. <laughs> it ain't work. And they still trying. Gratitude in reverse. Yeah, you're not thankful, Spirit is saying. You ain't thankful. You think you're going to get some type of success? You, you, first of all, you ain't truthful with yourself. You need to get mental clarity to know that you need to stop doing it and believe in God. Stop trying to believe in the devil because the devil is a lie. Number two, you ain't grateful for nothing when you do get your little wishes that you're trying to over here playing with. The Spirit say you guys got to stop being afraid. Be not afraid, okay, of these people and these witches and warlocks. Don't be afraid of them. Because you got to understand, they in low vibrational energy. Yeah, they a big witch, warlock, blah, 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 but it's all low vibrational energy. All you got to do is raise your energy up. That magic stuff can't stick to you if you know what you're doing. That's why I say book a reading with me. Book an appointment if you need to know how to get rid of this stuff. No, you ain't got to be scared. They want you scared. That's what they want. They prey off your fear. They prey off you. That's why they make scary movies and all this stuff. They preying off your fear. 
so they can go behind closed doors and seance all this stuff, all these masons and all these old governmental, uh, what's them type of groups? Y'all know what I'm talking about. So they can feed off the world fear and energy. The government know about energy and all that. Don't don't let them go, the government fool us. That's why Area 51 over here. Why Area 51 getting, why you can't get close to Area 51 then if it's a lie? Think about it. 21, 2021. Guys got to wake up around here and stop believing what this government telling us. Government is lying to us, guys. Government is watching all of us. The government is, is ciphering everybody energy, the people that is gifted, and, and they want to use it for their own greed. They trying to control the weather. They trying to control your money. They trying to control everything. But God is in control. You don't have to be afraid. You got to understand that. Fear not, Jesus says. And have an open mind, guys. That's what it is. You're not flexible. You're not having an open mind, Gemini. You got to have your mind open. That's the only way it's going to work. I was like that, too. I didn't believe. Ain't no way ain't nobody throwing nothing on me. Can't be. Yes, it was real. 2121. <laughs> And thank God, God showed me who he really was so I know God was real and angels and everything. I thank God for them showing me that because I believe like a mug. Ain't nobody going to put no doubt in my mind. And don't have no fear and doubt, guys. God is real. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different. And if you think he not, ask him. To, ask him. Ask him to show you. He'll show you. See, that's what I'm saying. Mr. Witches, warlock preachers in there. Why don't y'all ask God to show you is he real and then see what happened. And they know it. That's why they over there running now. Yeah, you need to free yourself, Spirit is saying. Free yourself. Free yourself from these people over here doing this black magic. You got a twin. Some of y'all are twin flame soulmates. And your twin over there doing black magic on your skull. And he's just sitting there. And you're wondering when the person lying to you. You don't want to be free because you're codependent. You got to work on yourself, guys. What else with this spirit, Neptune, Gemini? Yeah, you. You for sure. Free yourself, spirit, say. Karmic is over there doing black magic on your kids. She on drugs and she mistreating your kids. You need to free yourself. And she doing black magic. And that's why you're sad. You're sad because you're over there getting that black magic thrown on you because you don't believe. Yeah. S. And B could be the one doing it. I don't know. Take your pick. If you feel in B, you, should, you could be the one doing the black magic. And Spirit is saying, let go. Stop doing that shit. Or you over there with a karmic who's doing it on your skull. And you just sitting there. Because she know about your true love. She know you got true love. And she's sad about it. So she keep on throwing black magic on you. Telling you that your, your twin is. Because she know about your big happy changes. And it ain't your twin. It's her. Spirit say you're going to have peace when you leave the situation. And you're going to have love and everything. So free yourself. Yeah. And she got a third party. She's just trying to keep you away from your happiness. You guys got to understand these people is a step ahead of y'all. It's a karmic masculine. You could have a best friend that's S. I don't know. They the ones working together. They gossiping and talking trash. And working together over here. And she using the kid for ransom. That's why you're still sitting there. It's a son. It's a karmic feminine. She just want money. And she lying to you, Gemini. B. Why are you sitting there? Too demonic from the black magic. 
dead be baby father. So B, you could be the one doing it. I don't know. Some of y'all getting new love because you got a person over here and over here dibbling, dabbling. And it's, oh, okay, so it's the karmic side dude. That's her new love. And then he a deadbeat, and both of them doing black magic. Spirits say, these ain't y'all soulmates that y'all keep trying to hang on to. You got to think about it. If it's your soulmate, why you sad? Right. Do you think God going to give you a soulmate to make you sad? Every day of your life? Making you get peel high. This person over here got a side dude, a deadbeat dad, and she getting peel high with this person. And they both putting black magic on you. Spirit is saying, free yourself. You'll get your manifest, manifest. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. They a bunch of narcs. Let these narcs go. You will have success, Gemini, but you got to free yourself, man. That's what I was just talking about. People over here doing that voodoo, that old low dimensional magic, they think they doing something. Ain't nothing but a bunch of low narcissists. Throw it my way and you gonna throw it and get it thrown right back at you. I don't care. I ain't scared of it. Drug habits and everything. These ain't your soulmate, guys. These people lying to you. They not manifesting, they lying. They don't want you to be open minded. They don't they keep telling you you're gonna get some type of success if you keep doing black magic. Some of y'all doing it with the karmics. Let that shit go. You're not getting no success with this person. She using animals and blood sacrifice. And God say he cut man. I'm just telling you, God God ain't playing with none of y'all. So all y'all Fake warlocks and witches and, and voodoo people, all that devil demonic stuff, you're dibbling and dabbling. You want to do crystal meth and then go behind closed doors and, and thinking nobody know you over there doing that black magic over and over and over again on people, getting peel high and all that stuff. All right. All right. All right. And, and twin, you sitting over there with him, you're going to get it right on your skull, too. This person over here using a sun, she doing black magic on your son. Yeah, let go of this codependency. That's all it is. Thank you, spirit. It's just codependent. These narcs are codependent, guys. They want to hold on to you. That's all they're doing. They're throwing black magic on you, and you're just sitting there. It's going to work because you didn't, it's sitting there. You're allowing it to work. That's what I was saying. Stop allowing it to work. It's low vibrational magic. Return it back. You are high raking more over these warlocks and all these people that are over here claiming they did this and that. They lying. Because if they were so much this and that, they wouldn't even be using that shit. That's how I know they lying. The minute somebody say they're using voodoo, hexes, voodoo, woo-woo, you ain't no high breaking nothing. Because let me tell you something. I don't have to use none of that shit. And I do just fine. So that let me know the minute you start saying that, you're low. Don't be going to these people. These people is low vibrational, and they ain't no high level this and that. Now, it is people out here that's like that. They're high priests, and, but they do it for the good. You don't never see them using no demons and all that. Voodoo, black magic is demonic stuff. I don't care. That's what it is. And you see... It's going back, guys, because I'm sending it back. I hope y'all out there listening to me sending that shit right back to. Bunch of drug heads. That's all they want is your money, divine masculine. So you can keep giving them money. Yeah, focus on yourself. Meditate. It's so much easier to do it the right way, guys, than getting yourself caught all up in this stuff. Yeah, they don't want you to pursue your dreams. They want to keep stopping you, Divine Masculine. And you got to wake up, guys, Divine Feminine. Y'all got to free yourself and get out of this. Some of y'all, your twin is doing black magic on you. So you got to free yourself. You got to let go of the idea this person going to come back. I know. I don't know why they over there. 
they don't got to be, but they feel like they got to be because they got low self-esteem. And they not understanding they are the magic. You can't become the magic. You don't have to use no black magic voodoo. You don't got to kill no animals. You don't got to drink no blood. All you got to do is focus on yourself. That's how royalty you are. You over there, yeah, just go through your transformations. Thank you, spirit. Divorce these people. A, first name, middle initial, last name could be significant. In the spring. Let these people go. A, P, or P, A could be significant. Yeah, you know you chose the wrong person. You know that. So let the person go. Don't hang on to these people. These people is going to get the tower of their lifetime. <laughs> they don't even understand. I think they do. That's why. See what it is. The karmics know they're getting it. They know. Because spirit makes sure they let you know. Yeah, B. You need to understand this person is mistreating your son. She's doing it on your son. She's probably doing it on you too. Get the heck up out of there. You know who you are. And you're sad every day with this person. Why are you still sitting there? Yes, you sad. Why are you sad? Get on up out of there. These people about to get the tower of their life. You got big happy changes if you're gone. Look at this. Look what you're getting once you leave that situation, guys. 31.33 on the clock. You're getting a peaceful resolution. Choose peace. Don't choose these old karmics over here that's over here desperate. She got a whole karmic masculine while you sitting there trying to be good to this person. She got a whole third party over here. Getting crystal meth high, gossiping, talking trash, while she study getting karma on her head. Because anybody gossiping, talking trash about me or you twin, they getting karma. So now she getting more karma. And you sitting there, you going to get more karma. And she trying to keep the child for ransom. Take her butt to court. She on drugs. You going to win. You don't got to sit there and take it. This old karmic feminine. She demonic. Take them to court. They, the, the judges see how they, they act. Yeah. Got new love. Why are you sitting there? You don't need to be holding for your son. Take our butt to court. She over here got a whole side dude. She get pill high. She out of her mind already. She ain't nothing but a narcissist. And she codependent. You got to let go of that codependency too. Take her butt to court. You'll win. Spirit keeps saying y'all going to have a good outcome. If you do the right thing, guys. Stop letting these people get you scared and influence you. You got right. Stand up for yourself. Yeah, man. Stop being scared, air sign. Love yourself, divine feminine. You don't love yourself. You need to love yourself. Put yourself first. Get out of these relationships. These people dead be fathers. They ain't doing nothing but having other women getting pill high. Close these cycles out. You're going to have a whole new love, true love. You got a twin flame over here doing black magic on you. Free yourself from this stuff. You don't be with these people. These ain't just a bunch of narcs. Trust me, I was with one. It's hard, I know. Because they're good at manipulating you, making you feel bad for they mess. W. You a sex addict. Yeah. They be sex addicts and they'll know how to manip manipulate you to turn it around and you be thinking, feeling bad because they a sex addict. It ain't your, put this person to it in. It ain't your fault. This person got their own demons they got to deal with. That's not your fault. And they going to make it feel like it's your fault. But guess what? That tower coming. It's already probably here. A little bit of it's here. But it's... It, all right. All right. I'll try to help y'all, but look at here. Let go and let God. Thank you. Guys got fake pregnancies here. These people are too far gone. They're not coming back, guys. I have to realize that, too. Yeah. 
You ain't gonna have no twin flame. Let go of that twin. There's something better out there. Some of y'all, it's your twin flames, you know? You just gotta accept that stuff. I know it's sad, because you be wanting a twin flame to act right, but they getting sick, because they just sitting there. They, they, yeah. They gotta know how to say no to their karmic partner. And then if they keep accepting their karmic partner, they're gonna be getting sick and dying. That, that's just gonna be the truth. All because they wanna hold back secrets. They don't want you to know their secrets. Ain't that something? Cause she ain't, she, she, it ain't your baby. It's that third party karmic masculine. How many times we had that story? She got it long distance. Some of them went somewhere and got pregnant. Others of you, they, they sitting right under your face, pregnant by somebody else. Like I say, this person is lying to you. She's scared of your success. She don't want you to be successful, guys. And y'all scared. Ain't nothing to be scared about, man. You got secrets. Everybody got secrets. Can't be worrying about. Yeah, vibrating at a higher frequency. That's what I was saying. That black magic don't, it, it, bright sun will always outweigh the dark. And she ain't doing nothing but sitting there stalking divine feminine, copying her work, acting like her. And karmic, you will never be me or anybody else. So stop trying to copy people. Whoever, whoever it's a big copycat running around here couple of them, all out of them. That's all they do. They narcs, they copy, because they don't know, they don't have an identity. So all they do is watch you, soak up your personality. Yeah, so while they watching you, God is watching them. You see what I'm saying? So all they do is try to soak up your personality, soak up your readings, go make their own stuff, and copy your work. But it's okay, because I'm not tripping no more. I used to be mad about that, because I used to feel like, dang, I'm putting in this work and, and to just for somebody else to copy. But it's okay, because God said, don't even worry about it. Because he's going to bless me to the point where I don't, I don't even, I, I don't got to do this no way. This is all out of the goodness of my heart. Because I know my blessings would be, because God wanted me to be this. So he appointed me to be this, and I don't care what nobody think of me, or gotta say, or judging me, or whatever y'all feel necessary, narcissists, to get on my channel and watch me. I don't care. And Karmic, you cheating with a whole third party. You, you, you about to lose your mind anyway. You already losing it. Yes. You're losing it. And twin, you're just over there. I, I don't. I'm I'm so just, I, I don't know. But hey. Yeah, God is watching. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. These people, these people ain't thankful or grateful or nothing. And then y'all want to sit there. I passed the church today. It's so many people in the parking lot. Had to go to a whole nother parking lot. And, 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 and be on Easter. But every day, 38, 38, I pass that parking lot Monday through Sunday, ain't barely cars there. God is seeing all what y'all doing. You want to get on Easter and, and have your sharp suits on and look fancy and all this stuff. Yep. <laughs> yeah, God talking today. Yeah. You see what fell out? Hmm. Spirits say y'all ain't grateful. You're not grateful. And, and, they, and you know, you know what the high priestess is saying. And the high priestess is going to be successful regardless. You see that? Okay. And the people that ain't thankful and grateful for nothing and y'all still doing that, that magic and all that stuff, be looking out for it, man. Spirit watching you. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Because you're impatient. And, you, and, and you're not open-minded. And, and you know, hear the planes. You're not. And with this Queen of Pentacles here, 
you're treasuring money and, 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 and stuff like that. And Spirit is saying, you know you need to relax. You're not relaxing. Four swords. Nobody's trying to heal. And I feel like God is saying, relax. God is watching. It's okay, high priestess. It's all right. I know God. And and seven of pentacles. Y'all ain't grateful. Okay. And you know. You know. You think you're doing something. Okay. So I feel like for this, the people that's over here doing that magic, see, they don't want the high priestess to invest in herself. See, they want to block all the chosen ones. They don't want us to heal. They don't want us to relax. And Spirit is saying, it's okay. Y'all going to get everything y'all want. Don't even worry about it. And these people is going to get it. They're going to get it. They, they investments, all that stuff they invested in, it ain't going to work. Spirit say, relax. You're going to be you gonna be a success. Some of y'all are high priestess, and Spirit is saying y'all do need to relax, okay? Y'all make sure y'all rest and take care of yourself and, and show gratitude. And these fake-ass high priestess, you guys ain't getting nothing. So be looking out for that. That's going to be a zero for you. Well, let me just go on and get started here. And God watching how you ain't showing gratitude. You're not being grateful, Spirit is saying. God hears all, sees all. And God see. God see what y'all doing. And the ones that know y'all need to go on and step up and do God's work, you better step up and do God's work. Okay? You're sitting there thinking, you know, trying to hide that you a high priestess or a high priest. And God appointed you to do this. This was the contract. Yeah. Rejecting God cup and, every, and all that stuff. You're going to miss an opportunity. And God watching. You ain't grateful about nothing. Some of y'all ain't thanking God about your success. Yeah. Ain't moving forward. Spirit say rejecting God cup. Don't bring that tower. You know what you're supposed to be doing, twin. Some of y'all twins know they, look at here. They know, trying to block it out and not know. Y'all know y'all supposed to be out here doing God's work. And y'all sitting here not doing it. Not changing. Pouring out God cut. All right. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Being with these karmics over here. Because the karmic don't want you to move. So you just going to sit there. Pour out God cup. God trying to bless you with something. You listening to a karmita. Who do that? God saw everything you over there doing. <laughs> Man, I can't make it up. God seeing everything you're doing. Tower. Yeah, you gonna be in reg you're regretting it now, aren't you, Carmita? Yeah, I know y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you want to take that action to go and throw black magic on people. Yeah. God saw you. Yeah. Now you finna be going crazy. You probably already going crazy. Yep. My ear ringing right now. What else, Spirit? What else you want to tell them? Yeah. Emperor, and you better boss up. Hopefully you are. But you over there want to be in control and being stubborn and being in the devil energy? You getting it too over there. You better get out that devil energy. You attached to them karmic, demonic entities. Because you don't want to heal. Okay? You don't want to become a hair font, someone... That works for God, you want to return it. You don't want to do it. Okay. Lying to yourself. All right. God looking at everything. And the child ain't even yours. And not even apologize. Spirit say he ain't even trying to apologize for pouring out the cup. The cup he gave you. And the karmic ain't apologetic. Karmic ain't apologetic for playing in that moonlight. She was the main one over there doing it. Look at her. God looking dead at her. On an earth angel. 
Didn't even do nothing to you. What's the moon spirit? What they hiding over there? Which we already know. Yeah, karmic cycles is closed, man. Ain't no, ain't no, you ain't getting no riches, no none of that. Yeah, look what I say. You ain't getting no riches or none of that. Seven of cups, and all. Ain't no opportunities for you. No, no, exactly. You over there doing that moon? Because you want to hide the fact that you for the, you, you are, you are earth angel, divine master. You want to hide that and be working for the devil. So go ahead and play with that moon magic. Because all that shit finna backfire. Now you're going to be blocked. Your intuition blocked. You're blocked. Yeah. Now you're going to be going to jail. What's this justice? Because you, yeah, you didn't want to put no work into you. All you had to do was put the work in. Judgment. That's a spiritual judgment. Now you're going to get judgment in court. We got the 5D court just like the 3D court. Yeah. King of Cups. You know what you, you, you know you don't love them lovers over there, but you want to hang over there anyway. Now you're under judgment. Hmm. You see, you see, right? Yeah. Don't be over there begging now. Mm-hmm. Nine of Wands, yeah, ain't no defense. No, oh, ain't no defense. Yeah, because you was mad. You want to wish death on people and, and karmic and all that. Yeah, right back at you. And you ain't protected either. So good luck with that. Yeah, being immature, acting fast, thinking later. And death also could mean it's, it's over. Yeah, Eight of Cups. Yeah, because you didn't want to walk away. You didn't want to walk away. All you had to do is walk away. Some of y'all, this person has decided to end it and walk away. What's the Eight of Cups in reverse? Let's see. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, no, they didn't want to build. They didn't want to work with you, Divine Feminine. They was mad and jealous of, of you. So they wanted to stay immature with this old fire sign. Mm -hmm. and, and try to work behind your back for some of y'all. Yeah. Temperance. They realize and they need to heal or they could have realized you a real angel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pour it out the cup. The cup that God gave you, you gonna go pour it out for a karmic. Who do that? Where they do this at, man? What's the ace of cups? Yeah, I can't make it up. Two of cups. Pour it out for a karmic. Yep, thank you, spirit. Because they want to go party with these karmics. Instead of doing the work. He didn't want to do the work. That's all you had to do was go in hermit mode, look inside yourself, and do the work. God was handing you everything in the world. Your own true soulmate. And you didn't and you poured it out. Didn't want to do it. Being stubborn. And now Divine Feminine about to boss up. <laughs> Same stuff you did in the past life. Here you go again. It's almost sad. Yeah, 10-10. Ten, ten. Look at here. 10-10. Ten, ten. Divine Feminine released them pains. That betrayal. That hurt. So Spirit is saying, just release it. Let it go. And you release the burdens, Divine Feminine. And that's why you finna boss up like the person that you are. Because these people want to be vindictive towards you. And you release that. And now you're the queen of wands. Beautiful. You're doing everything what you're supposed to do. And this person ain't coming back. Spirits, they ain't coming back. 
They running now. Look at them. <laughs> running now. And over there sad. Watching you boss up. They gonna watch you boss up. Over here with these lovers. You lovers ain't manifesting nothing over there. Ain't got nothing for you. Ain't manifesting nothing on drugs. Some of them. Some of them about to die. Some of them. Sick. Just a whole bunch of mess. When you had the whole cup right here. Right here. God was trying to give it to you. No, didn't want it. Wanted to be the Knight of Cups. Want to invest in, 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 in laying you the rest, Divine Feminine. They invested in trying to hurt you. Knowing what they did was a fool, Spirit say. Now they sad. Don't be no sad now. The Spirit say you released the hurt, heartbreak. You did. You released it. You release the sadness, and that's justice. So, they they getting bad justice over here, because they invested in, and they invested in bad karma. Why you over here, and they heartbroken. They gonna be heartbroken, spirits say. Yeah, they, they invested in hurting them on their own self. Meanwhile, you invested in the good stuff. You finna boss up. And they, they in the Ace of Pentacles. Goes around, comes around. Spirits say, hey, goes around, comes around. That tower coming on their head. Don't even worry about it. All that magic backfiring. That's crazy, y'all. Well, anyway, Gemini, that's just what I have for y'all today. I hope some of these messages helped. Um, Yeah, man. God is in the building. Presence of the Lord is here. God been watching them. And every time they try to attempt to do something, they get towers. Well, never no love there. And that's what God was trying to tell you, twin. And you knew it. So, I don't know. I don't know, child. But now, secret's out. They not moving. They missed the opportunity, spirits say. They don't want it to be over, though, with the death in reverse. They just didn't want to change, you know. They poured out the cup. They under judgment, spirits say. What, what, what? That was your choices over there, you know. That's why I say you thought you was going to have some success. Spirits say, yeah, all you had to do was believe. That's it. That's all God is always asking us, guys. That's all you got to do is believe in him, man. You ain't got to be doing a whole bunch. You know, I sit here and meditate, and, and yeah, I had to clear out a lot of things. That's because they did, they was trying to hurt me. But at the end of the day, you guys probably ain't got all that going on. All you got to do is meditate, tap in with yourself, and believe that God is real, and help and ask God to help you and clean your energy. That's it. You got to cut off all them people that's over there that's not serving you no good. That's the truth, Spirit, say. Eh? You know, and raise your vibration up and believe in him. That's all God wants y'all to do. It's Easter. Can we believe in him when Easter gone? Can we believe in him when when it's Monday tomorrow? Can you say a prayer tomorrow instead of waiting to Easter to say a prayer? You know what I'm saying? Can you praise God when you, when you ain't nobody looking? Pastors and preachers when y'all be trying to get that good money. Can you praise God when you're in your home? You know, can you read the Bible just a little bit? That's all God asking. That God, you know, God ain't really asking for us to be doing a whole. Well, some of us, depending on who you are. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Now, if you got a mission, like you're a twin flame, ascended master, you might got to do a bit. Yeah, you, <laughs> you soulmate, you might got to do a little bit more. But all I'm saying, yes, you see what I'm saying. You might got to do a little bit more. But for the people out here that, you know, depending on what you are, God just wants y'all to believe. That's it. Get yourself together. You know what I'm saying? And, and love God. That's all the asking. He loves us, guys. He don't love nobody that's over here doing wrong. I'm trying to tell you right now. He don't love that shit. You hurting the chosen ones? That's gonna. That's a no go. That's that's a negative. 
You messed up when you did that. And the chosen one over there that went against your own divine feminine, you just, I don't know what to tell you. I'll let God tell you because uh, you done messed up. All right, so that has been your reading, Gemini, and I'm going to get off of this because, um, yeah, I, I feel like we need to relax today. And once again, guys, what goes around comes around. Deja vu, Tarot. Peace.